I'd like to introduce Mary Boyle. Um, Mary is a nurse practitioner in our division of endocrinology, and all of our patients love Mary, and I think that you will too. Um, as Dr. Johnson was talking about following these patients, and you know in your practice, it does take a team approach uh, most of the time. So that's what Mary Boyle will be speaking uh, about today, a team approach, pre creating a program to manage diabetes. Welcome. So onward with the team approach program here. I have no disclosures. So the objectives that I'd like to address with everyone today is that there is the team approach of managing diabetes. It takes each and every one of us to get the patients at their goals. Secondly, I'd like to utilize technology to assist the team and the patient to mutually develop a plan of care. And the word I want to focus on is a mutually developed plan of care. It's not what I think is best for the patient, but it's what, what we both agree upon. So this is a perfect segue to Dr. Thompson's lecture. It is a progressive disease. I think I must say this several times to my patients when I see them. Uh, it does require the team multiple medications over time. There's not any one of us in this room that would like to be on medications if we don't have to. We need the patient and the family to be engaged each and every day, and you know how difficult this is. If there is one thing that you take home today, as Dr. Thompson said, make sure you tell every one of your patients with type 2 diabetes that they will need insulin in their lifetime. It's not that they did anything wrong, it's just that it is a tough disease, and insulin really does help when it's necessary. So once again, this is a, a disease that takes a lot of hard work, time, diligence, motivation. Your patients have to have an ability and a want to follow diet and exercise. And sometimes I don't use those words because diet is, is a word that brings a lot of unhappiness to people. Um, sometimes I just say, what do you eat? What are you, wh what is your plan today? I make sure that they always see a dietitian, and I ask them, what did the dietitian tell you? And then I review the dietitian's note, and many times what they're told and what they actually are doing are very different. They have to have a willingness to check their blood sugar. And surprisingly, this is getting harder and harder because it is a visual thing that people see. I'll be on the airplane or out in the playground, and I can see these things going on, and I'm, I'm very astute um, and notice it to watch what the people around these folks are doing. And sometimes people think that everybody in the world is watching them, but they really aren't, and that when they're tending to their, their duties,